The Museum of the Danube Swabians has been opened on July the 8th, 2000. During the 18th and in the early 19th century, thousands of families emigrated to Southeast Europe, embarking at the Danubian island in Ulm. So Ulm seems to be predestinated for the institution of this kind of museum. The permanent exhibition is called Space, Time, Man, and traces the history of these emigrants and their everyday life in a multinational region. Here you see the map of Europe where the countries of migration are marked. There were about 500,000 persons who emigrated to southeastern Europe. In the first generation most of the settlers died within a short time. In the next generation they suffered from need. In the third generation they had enough bread. The main part of the emigration took place under the reign of Empress Theresia and her son Joseph II. Religion meant a lot to the emigrants, so we can see a lot of photos of churches and objects of their religious and social life. Here we can see a spinning wheel, a chest, a doll, a showpiece bed decorated with precious pieces of linen given with the dowry. Over 16 million refugees and expelled persons stream towards Germany. After some time it becomes a certainty for the population. There will not be any return to the southeast. The involuntary cohabitation of refugees and locals leads to constant conflicts. I chose the tour the city of Ulm and the Danube Swabians because the city of Ulm is closely connected to the history of emigrants in the beginning of the 18th century and above all because I am a Danube Swabian myself. The Danube is the second largest river in Europe and the story of the Danube Swabians starts right here at the Danube in Ulm. Starting from Ulm the Danube was navigable and was so an important route of transportation. Emigrants flocked to Ulm to go down the Danube in the so-called Ulmer Schachteln, flat boats. They were hoping to find better living conditions in the southeastern countries along the Danube. We are now standing in front of the Danube Swabian Memorial, which unites emigration and expulsion. The Danube Swabians feel a deep connection with Ulm and the Danube, which explains in their whole story. The city of Ulm gave the waterfront's most beautiful part the name Donau Schwaben Ufer, Danube Swabian Waterside. The Danube office is an institution that keeps fascinating me with its offers. I've spent many informative and companionable hours there, which I wouldn't want to miss. I always got friendly and qualified information, 
even to personal questions.